Nigel, if you're such a prestigious, successful company, how come you've got such a crappy payroll system? In your own time, Nigel. It is a crappy system, you're right. And I think of all the things that I have to do, this is probably the number one priority. IFAs insist on another ingredient, and that's service. And I'm going to have a chat with Tim Culling just to see whether that's actually going to happen. Now, Tim, you're under an awful lot of pressure in your area because if the plan's going to succeed, that service is absolutely crucial. Now, if the business increases by 50%, Surely, you're just not going to be able to cope. For the second year running, please welcome on stage, Barrister at Law, Graham Davis. <clears throat> so, Nigel, you stood up on that platform exactly 12 months ago and said that in the next 12 months, you're going to open 26 doors, when in fact, you've only opened 18. What does that say about your credibility as a managing director? I think, Graham, if I didn't look at what's happening in the world, looking at the changing priorities, and I didn't change, then I think you could criticise me for that. Now, you'll notice the uh, similarity to the set of a TV show. Brian is bachelor number one. <laughs> Richard number two, uh, Mike number three, and I apparently am Scylla Black. And now it's over to you. Uh, you I, I would be amazed if you're not. There's an absolute forest of hands coming up for questions. Now, do I see the first question? Do I see the second question? <laughs> when interviewing a panel, I always feel that it's very important to start off with a gentle, pleasant and friendly question, just to get the ball rolling. Samira, you've painted a very positive picture, but with constant unrest in Israel and Palestine, with total civil war in Iraq and the Lebanon, and with Iranian politicians making more and more bellicose noses every day, isn't it right that probably the UAE is the most dangerous convention destination in the world at the moment? I love you too. Thank you. Thank you.